All right, this is Vegeta 8259, and this is the last part of my Predacon reviews, and this time we're going to be going over Predaking himself. And first, before I get started, uh, I just wanted to lay out all the swords in front of you. I mean, I just think they're really cool looking. And you got that nice gold plastic, and it's kind of, it's, it's rubbery. It's not uh, really stiff and brittle like a lot of uh, gold plastic is. But uh, I think they're nice. Uh, there's Tantrum Sword, Rampage, Razor Claw, Dive Bomb, and Headstrong. So there they all are right next to each other so you can compare them. Alright, so now let's get into this review. Uh, at the end of each Predacon review, I had uh, each one of them in their uh, Predaking component mode. So, if you haven't seen the Predacon reviews individually, uh, just go back and watch them and you can see how to transform them into each uh, part of Predaking. And, and that's all what I've got here, and so I'll just assemble them together. First, I'm going to take uh, the torso, which is made out of razor claw. And I'm going to attach each one of the legs, Tantrum and Headstrong. And he's got this peg here that goes into this hole on each one of them. And he's actually got a little switch here. There's a little button you can press here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that little uh, clip goes in and out. It just makes it a lot easier uh, to disconnect them. So I'm going to connect these guys up right here. And there you go, and I think I'm going to have to raise the camera a bit. There we go. Hopefully the camera won't fall over like it has so many times before. Alright, then I'm going to take Rampage, and he's got this little peg here that just fits right into Predaking's shoulder there. It's sometimes kind of hard because the, uh, these yellow parts on uh, Razor Claw want to go into the torso, but... They're supposed to stay out like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on Dive Bomb. He's got a peg too. And goes right on the same spot on the other side. And last but not least, we've got the backpack, which is provided by Dive Bomb. Rotate him around. And this is why on the uh, Razor Claw review, I told you you needed to leave these red parts down. Because this hole right here accommodates this long peg on the backpack. It just inserts right in there. And the backpack actually kind of rests right on these uh, red lion feet. So, that is Predaking. I kind of like to bring his arms forward a little bit. Just to pose them like that. Open the lion mouth. And there you go. This guy is massive. Look at that. He won't even fit in the camera frame. So for comparison, I've got G1 Optimus. And as you can see, Predaking just towers over him. This is the largest uh, combiner set in the Generation 1 Transformer series. And I believe it's the biggest combiner set of any Transformers. I don't think... Uh, any of them made in the later series were bigger than this. So, uh, let's get into articulation. Alright, uh, he can rotate at the shoulders, but he can't go 360, obviously, because of those wings in the back. Uh, he doesn't have... I mean, he has a little bit of in-and-out movement, but that's not because there's joints there. It's just because of the pegs being kind of loose. Uh, his right arm... Well, each arm can rotate at the elbow, and each arm can bend ever so slightly at the elbow. Just like one click. That's not much. And he can do the same thing on Dive Bomb. Let's see. Let's move these arms up a little bit. He can 
move his legs forward a bit and he can he actually has knee joints so he can bend his legs uh, a good ways over 90 degrees so that's pretty nice oh he and he can move his legs backwards quite a bit uh, they can't rotate anywhere and I believe that's about it for the legs and of course these wings on the back can go up and the black parts can fold in and then go down and pretty much just like they do on a dive bomb alright so let's get into his accessories uh, I showed you in the razor claw review that here's Predaking's gun it was razor claws gun and then it transforms and becomes even bigger and dive bomb has got a peg right here and it just fits nicely onto there and his gun is mounted on the left arm uh, the whole, the peg for the gun is too big to be fit uh, to fit in the fist so he has to have it on his arm there and then uh, you could use any of the Predacon swords if you wanted to but traditionally I think uh, Predaking uses razor claw sword and it just fits into either fist like so it's a little small looking I mean it's to the Predacons individually it's a sword but to Predaking it's more like a dagger but it still looks pretty nice I guess there weren't many things that were perfect on the Generation 1 Transformers, but I guess we have to take their faults along with their successes, so. Uh, he's got that, again, he's got that really, really nice Predacon color scheme. The black and the red and the orange and the yellow. A little bit of gray for the fists and the gun. Some gray on uh, Tantrum there, I believe. Yeah, I think Tantrum's the only uh, Predacon that actually has gray on him that's not associated with accessories so uh... yeah I'm I really really recommend this uh... this combiner set I uh... collected transformers as a kid and kinda got out of them for a few years and then uh... It was probably two years ago I started collecting transformers again right before the uh... live-action movie came out and this was the first uh... I guess I hesitate to call them one Transformer, but this these were the first five Transformers I got as an adult collector, and I gotta say, I'm really, really, really happy with this. These are, I mean, this is amazing. I am, I almost want to say this is my favorite combiner. It's between Predaking and Devastator, but this is definitely a good buy. He's expensive. Uh, what I did was just I bought each of the Predacons individually, and even I think I had to buy some of their accessories individually. But uh, if you do it like that, just buy them individually and like, I don't know, buy maybe one Predacon a week or every two weeks or something. It doesn't seem like it's that much, but if you buy the whole thing as a set together, it's going to run you a good $300, so just uh, be aware of that. I don't think I paid quite that much because I bought them all separately but I guess he's worth whatever you're willing to pay for him so this does it for the Predaking review and the Predacon reviews in general and I will see you guys next time